We are going to talk about NEPERS versus DB. So we're talking about ratios of amplitude. So amplitude ratios conventionally are done in DB. 20 log to the base 10, A2 over A1, DB. What are the units of DB? No units, they're just like radians. They indicate in its original setting sound pressure but taken over into electrical engineering. Now, why do we use logs for ratios? Well, that's because of something called dynamic range. In other words, for example, if A2 is 10 million and A1 is 1, the ratio is going to have basically 7 digits. Whereas if we take the log, 10 million is 7. So we've scaled things down, we've compressed the range so we can analyze it better. Now we're going to do a new ratio. And that's called NEPERS, NP, which is natural log of the ratio of A2 to A1. So that's our new ratio. Now what we want to do is first of all motivate where it comes from. And it comes from the fact that the waves, uh, waves behave like they are proportional to e to the minus alpha z. So if we take the natural log of this, we of course just get the exponent. And at a given distance, say z equals 1, that defines the rate of decay of the wave. So that's a motivation for using log. The natural question is, how, is the how are the units NEPERS defined by this? And of course, we're missing something here. We should say that when you do this, the units are NEPERS. So how, how are these units, this quantity here, which measures a ratio, so let's write it down, log of A2 over A1, times NEPERS, that's the number of NEPERS, is equal to the same ratio expressed in dB. When we do logs here, we must always remember that we are using the ratio, so always have those brackets. So the question is, one NEPR, so if this is equal to 1, is how many dB? That's the conversion we'd like to do, so you can quickly go from one description to the other. And to get one NEPR, we just divide both sides by the log. So one NEPR is equal to 20 times log 10 of A2 divided by A1 dB. Divided by, of course, natural log of A2 over A1. So what we have to do is express log to the base 10 of the ratio in terms of log to the base E, and that's done up here in the corner. So we'll let u equal log 10 a2 over a1. That's this quantity here. And that means that 10, that what the log means is 10 to the power u is equal to a2 over a1. And then at the bottom we can see that the log using the property of logs, we get this relationship. So log of a2 over a1, that ratio is u log 10. And this quantity here is just u. So this is equal to 20u divided by this, which is u natural log of 10 and dB. So 1 neeper is this many dB. The u's cancel. If you look up log of 10 to the base e, natural log, log, or ln as we write it, log 10 is about 3-ish, or two, between 2 and 3, and so this works out to 
dB, and that's to two figures. It's something bigger, so longer, but we'll say approximately equal. So one NEPR in terms of practical common usage is 8.69 dB. They're both unitless. One is a logarithmic ratio expression. The other is log to the base 10. And that's all there is. By the way, we can see that really NEPRs NP, no problem. Simple ratios.